Hi, that Paul guy. Um, sometimes I get on here and I, I kind of use this, I guess, as maybe a, a little bit of a therapy session. And uh, I, I kind of tell what's on my mind and what my thoughts are and what's, I don't know if it's like maybe what's weighing me down or what's got me thinking or what I'm deep in thought with. And uh, today's no different. I, I realize I haven't done this in a long time and there's not going to be visuals or anything pop up on your screen. So if you want to minimize this and, and listen to my voice while you're surfing and checking your email or whatever, you know, go ahead. But um, I, I want to talk about loss and there, there's several different types of loss. We all know that there's uh, when and I don't mean like losing your car keys. I, that's something that's not that's not loss per se. That's just, you know, you misplace something. I'm talking about a situation where you've lost a job, you've uh, broken up with somebody, your marriage has ended, or a long relationship has ended, or you've lost a loved one. Um, now, the, the difficult part about that for me to talk about is because in, in the case of, I've gone through several of them, I've gone through all of them actually, all three of those those types of things. The one thing they all have in common is they all kind of make you take a step back reevaluate what's going on in your life, where you are, what's going on, how to deal with that, and where it moves you forward. Now, you can get completely lost, and you can go and get depressed about everything and just completely give up and give in and say, you know what, I'm devastated, I'm never going to recover. And that's, that's not a way to go. And, and I'm, only from my personal experience can I tell you that's not a way to go. I've been through situations and I've been in situations where at first it really, really, it hit me hard and hit me heavy and it was something that I, how am I going to recover from this? How am I going to go on? How am I going to figure this out? And and you find a way to do it. And in the case of a, a, a job, maybe you need to find another job. And it sounds simple, but maybe it's if you weren't happy with that job and you lost it and you felt a sense of relief, maybe you need to find something else to be doing, a different career to be having, and I've done that. I, I when I uh, left a management job or got let go of a management job several years back, I realized that maybe management wasn't where I wanted to be. The long hours, the responsibility, the people that that did not have the hands-on every day that I did, or somebody new would come in and try to tell you their way of doing things. And just as often as, as they were right, they were wrong because they didn't know the situation they were trying to tell you about because they didn't see it day to day. Some people were very, very sharp and they would come in and they would help you and they would figure out what the situation was and, and it could be very successful and others weren't. But then when you get out of that situation and you feel a sense of relief, that's a loss you can deal with because that's something you need to maybe go and take a different, a completely different path. It's same thing with relationships. You're in a relationship and maybe you're not even happy in that relationship and neither one of you are happy in that relationship. And then you finally end up calling it quits and, and ending it for one reason or another, whoever's to blame or whatever's going on. But remind it, it takes two people to be involved in something. It takes two people to screw it up too. Uh, but when that relationship ends and you have to sit back and think, all right, well, maybe that wasn't the best thing for me to be doing. Maybe that wasn't where I needed to be. And, and you figure out, what the next best thing is. Maybe you need to take some time to work on yourself and be single for a little while. Or maybe there's somebody else in your life that, that really appreciates who you are. Don't turn a blind eye to, to people that are there for you and to try to help you get through things. They might have the, not have the same, cir same circumstance, but just as I've said something about losing a job, losing a relationship, and losing a left loved one, you can almost bet that whoever you're talking to or whoever's reaching out to you, has been in in a similar situation or in a situation that I can they can kind of they can kind of equate to that or, or relate to and so don't don't automatically push away help just because you're uncomfortable or you're feeling bad about yourself. Um, the most important part is when you lose a loved one, and um, I mentioned this because 20 years ago today I lost my dad. Way too young. Dad was two years older than I'm about to turn now. And uh, it was about this time of the day, <laughs> coming home from work. He had retired, was bored being retired. He had always been a busy person, always been very personable. Everybody always got along with him. He always got along with everybody else. There were very few circumstances where Dad didn't get along with somebody or vice versa. 
And so he had gone back to work and, and uh, recently got remarried to his best friend in the whole world and very happy. Had survived cancer, was not too long before that, declared five years cancer free. Had had a quad bypass and took it seriously. Changed his diet, changed everything, changed, you know, did, didn't exercise probably as much as he should have. We all know that, and I don't either, and that's probably something I need to be looking at and thinking about too, especially on a day like today. But he did change a lot of things, and he, and he had a better attitude, and he had quit smoking and a bunch of things, and he, he was living a happy life. And just when you think, okay, everything's together and everything's really, really running well, he's gone. And um, I kind of take solace in the, in the fact that I got to talk to him about a week or so, a week and a half before it happened. And uh, so I knew exactly where I stood with that, and he knew exactly where he stood with me, and we were, we were good with that. And that's, I'm very, very thankful that I got that chance. But if there's somebody in your life that you, you really, it would pain you to see them gone and you're not ready for them to be gone. And for some reason or another, you guys aren't getting along or not talking. You need to fix that. You need to fix that quickly because you just never know. It can be gone in an instant. And dad had survived cancer and survived heart condition and bypass surgery to die in a car wreck. So you just never know when it's gonna happen. But again, it's loss, and it makes you go back, and it makes you figure out how your life changes and what direction you take now that you don't have that person in your life. I hope you'd be proud of me. I've gone back and completed school, got my degree, got a really good job that I love a lot more than I ever loved working in management. And it gives me an opportunity to, that now I have an open forum where when I need to get something off my chest and I need to say something, I can do it. And so I don't know how comfortable I am sharing this with everybody that might be watching it, but guess what? I'm gonna do it anyway. So uh, just think, I mean, just take a moment to tell the ones around you that you love them. And if there's somebody that you haven't fixed things with, you know it's gonna devastate you if they're gone, you better fix it. And if you're not where you are in life and you, you, you hate your job or you hate where you are, your relationship or whatever, then find a way to fix it or get out of it and do something else. Do something you love. Life is too short. Enjoy it. Love it. Figure out a way to enjoy it. Figure out a way to love it. Figure out a way to treasure it. Because it's too, too short. It, life is too short to be miserable, folks. Anyway, that's all I got. So uh, I'm not going to ask you to subscribe. I'm not going to ask you a thumbs up or thumbs down or, or a comment or anything. I'm just, this is my chance to, to tell you that I miss my dad. And 20 years ago today, we lost him. And uh, there are several people that might get a chance to see this that kind of feel the same way. And I'm, I'm sorry I'm tearing up, but um, it is still very emotional 20 years later. You don't ever get over the pain you learn to live with the pain. You learn to figure out how to make that pain makes you better. But uh, you never, it's one of those things you never get over. You want, I guess you want to embrace it. You want to just remember and be there and, and remember that that person was a very, very important part of your life and, and probably the most important part of your life at one point. If not, you know, like a parent where they are the most important. But uh, like I said, folks, that, that's all I got. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to end this and edit it so I can get it up. And uh, if you're watching this, then uh, I, had, I had the guts to put it out there. So that's all I got for right now. So until later, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll see you later.